So this is how I recreated the Modern Family intro inside of After Effects used for my grade 12 graduation video. Okay, so let's head inside After Effects. So here I've created a composition and inserted the first clip, which is me talking. And what I'm going to do, and what I've done, is I've downloaded the Modern Family intro from YouTube. So I'm going to drag it into our timeline at the bottom, and if we hide it, we can see we have it here. Now what this does basically is allows us to get the in and out points of each clip to make it accurate to the intro, match the music, and then everything work really well seamlessly to make it look like the exact same thing as the real intro. So just because I like to do it, we're going to open up our properties and we're going to scale it up because 720 clip in a 1080p timeline, but it doesn't really matter because it's just for reference. What we're going to do is we're going to just play it through and we're going to find the first in and out point. So if we go here, we can see where the image first starts to come through. So we scrub through a little bit. We see this is here is where the first frame starts to come in. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get our second clip clip 2, we're going to drag it on top of clip 1, and we're going to drag it so it starts at the exact same point we want it to, that same point where the first frame of the Modern Family intro comes in. So we unhide our first one, now we got our second layer, which is the green screen, and our first layer, which is just my face. So from this, basically, all you need is a green screen. So this can be a green piece of paper like this. This is just a piece of paper painted green and that's all you really need for this effect. It can be blue, it can be pink, it can be yellow, it just depends on your background. And right here we have a picture frame too, and that helps sell the effect and makes it look a bit better, but it's not necessary either. So from here, the first thing you probably think is green screen. So if we grab our key light effect from our effects and presets, so we type in key light, we drag it on top of our second clip, go to our effect controls, we pick the color picker and pick the green, Everything should work, but it doesn't because our uniforms are green, the background's green, and even though this is kind of yellow, it's picked up as green. So we need to fix that. And this is a really simple fix. So we hit Control Z just to go back. What we're going to do is click our clip two, go to the masking effects, and we're going to click these four points around the picture frame, just till they meet, and we create a mask. From here, we're going to open up our properties, go to Mask mask again and we're going to click the clock from path and expansion I'm going to scrub through to the end of the video it doesn't have to be the end it can be a little bit sooner but we'll just do it for our sake and we'll kick click uh, keyframes here and from here we're going to hit mask expansion and we're just going to drag it along just so each point matches the picture frame so as the video goes on the the mask doesn't go anywhere else than we want it to so if we scrub back through it, we'll see the mask fits the picture frame throughout the whole video. So from this point, what we're going to do is we're going to hide it, Control D to duplicate it, open it up again, go to our mask properties and hit invert. Don't know why there's two masks there, but um, well, it's inverted anyway. Um, so when we close it, basically what we've done is we've created two layers of this one image. So one which is just the green screen and then one which is just the background. So that way, when we do the green screen, it only affects the green in the picture frame. So we go back to our effects and presets, look up key light again. I'm going to drag it into our clip two. Ooh, we drag it onto that one. Hit our color picker and pick green, and it works a lot better now. But there is a few different issues because the we basically because we had a piece of paper painting green, there's a few inconsistencies. But that's really easy to fix. So we go to across to our effects. We hit screen matte, and we hit click black, and we just drag across just until all those little inconsistencies are fixed and then we have a good green screen image. Now just to make life a lot easier for ourselves, what we're going to do is we're just going to get both our clip 2s and control select them so they're both selected, right click, pre-compose. Now we're going to type in here clip 2, because it's clip 2, and what that's done is basically bunch them together so that way when we do positions and scale later on in the effects to make it look like the modern family intro, that way everything really works well we don't have to fidget with the two different layers that the green screen are on. Okay, so this is where the transition part really starts to come into play. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring back our modern family intro. So if we come through here and we see what we've done is we've basically started it where the picture frame comes in. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our clip to, bring it back down, transition, and we're going to hit position, scale, rotation clocks. And then we're going to scrub through 
and we're going to stop when this image stops. So when we see the motion blur disappear, which is right there, this frame here, that's where we want to hit the keyframes for those clips too, just like that. Now we're going to hide this one and bring back our layers. So what we're going to do is we go back to our first keyframes. From here we're going to play a position and scale. So we're going to scale it up and then position it so it stays in the middle of the frame. And we just keep doing that progressively until we get to the end, just making sure it stays center and eventually we're going to make a zoom out all the way so it's disappeared inside of the clip. So now we play it through we're going to see there's a problem. So we hit play. Basically the effect starts too early and I'm still speaking. So to fix that it's really easy. We're going to hide this again and we're going to both select clip 2 and the modern family intro and we're going to find so where about I stop talking which will be about there. We want a bit few seconds after I finish just so we have time for transition to occur and we're going to bring it forward just to that point. That way we have both the effects, our effect and the Modern Family effects in the same position. So that way when we play it now, it should work. So this is how I recreated the Modern Family intro inside After Effects using my Grace World graduation video. I'm not too happy with it though because it happens just a bit too fast. And we're going to mute the audio from the second clip too just because it's a bit loud. So we zoom in a little bit. All we have to do is just control, select both these again and drag it out a bit further, so that way we play it. This is my crazy old graduation video. That looks a bit better, fits more with the intro. So as we see now, it's not perfect, but the first thing we're going to do to make it look a lot better is add motion blur. So with this clip here, we're going to select it, and it depends if you have your toggle switches. So if it's like this, just come down here and click a toggle switch, and we're going to hit the motion blur. So that way, when it zooms in, there's going to be a blur in between the clips which makes it look a lot more realistic when it comes to zooming in. Just like that. So now we play through, there's a few errors, so we come through. Basically, the video is still moving and then eventually it goes to black. So what we're going to do to fix that is we're going to come to the first point where the second one comes in. So we zoom in and we make sure it's the exact same one. And hit clip one, control shift D, and then from here we're going to right click and we're going to go up here to time and we're going to hit freeze frame so that way from the point on just like the actual intro the picture frame is a still image however basically what happens is it still stays in the same position to fix this what we're going to do is we're going to go open up the keyframes from the first so we'll clip two actually and we're going to zoom in a bit we're going to open up the keyframes for clip one which we haven't put in yet back to transform we basically want to duplicate the same keyframes. So we can position, scale, or rotation. Go to the next ones, position, scale, and rotation. And from the end, what we want to do, just scale it down and then position it to where it wants to be in the picture frame. So position it that way, scale it down a little bit, play the rotation just to match with the image like that. Scale it up a bit more, almost like that. And that works well, so that way, when it comes through, the picture's there, but as you can see, it doesn't look very good because there's a lot of black in that, but we'll fix that. This bit can be a bit of a tedious process, but what you got to do is basically keyframe as it comes in to get rid of the black, so we keep adding our frames, and we'll position it just to scale up like that, so that way when it comes through, we go through that way, no black yet, that comes in, there's still black, so add more keyframes, we'll just fix the scale, and the positioning, just to bring it up a little bit, just like that. So as it comes through, there isn't any black in the image. Still black at the bottom, it's gonna keep going through until we eliminate all the black. Okay, so I've added a few more keyframes in, and then that way we've eliminated all the black and it fits in the image. But as we see, as it keeps going, it go to black. So we just bring everything back, and all we have to do is extend it out a bit, just like that. You just gotta scale it up, and then continue to drag it along, so that way it just doesn't end for a while. So we play it now. That way it fits. So now from this point, everything looks pretty good. If we scroll through, it looks like just like the modern family effect. But there's one thing which is missing right now. It's tracking because this image isn't staying in the same position as the picture frame is because it's moving as we're holding it. So we're going to fix that now. Okay, from here we're going to right click, new, and then we're going to get null objects. And we're going to rename it to clip2 
two. No. From that, we're going to open up our clip two, and we're going to go basically to where the second keyframe is. And because there's still a little bit of motion blur, we're going to scroll up, and we'll just do about one frame forward. And then we're going to go scroll down our panel to track motion. From here, we're going to come in, we'll zoom in, and we'll grab our tracker. And basically, what we want to do is pinpoint the end edge of our object, which is just about there. So we'll put our X there. Edit target. We want to make sure it's our clip to null. Hit OK. We'll go back to fit. And from here, we're going to hit this play button. And that way, it's going to track the footage. And because there's not much movement in this image, basically, it's not going to do that much of an effect. But it's really going to sell as realistic and fit well with the modern family effect. So now it's done. We're going to hit apply. OK. And then we're going to go back to our clip. So from here, we want to grab our clip one. And we're going to pair that to our null object. So that way, wherever the picture frame moves, so does my face, which is the first clip. So that way, it looks pretty realistic. And that pretty much is the whole of the effect, really. So we come here, we play it through. So this is how I recreated the Modern Family intro inside After Effects using my Grace Hall graduation video. That's pretty much the effect. All you have to do now is from this point, just repeat the same process for your next clip. But from here, what we're going to do is just right click, select them all, and then basically pre-compose them. Just so it makes life a lot easier when we do the next bit. So we're going to call it clip two, just because that way. So then everything works as one so this is how I layer. Just slowing down a bit. So that way, just repeat the process by grabbing your clip two, or clip three should be. That one, we'll grab it on top and just repeat the same process that we went through before. So I'm going to repeat the process with all the clips I have and get to the final one and then show you what to do differently for the final. Okay, so we're into the last clip now. So we play it through, everything looks good. And there is a bit of a problem here because in the footage we didn't actually spin the frame around like in the actual intro. Um, I can't tell you why we didn't, but uh, it didn't happen. So uh, just to fix that issue, what we're going to do is we're going to get here. So basically here is where they start to flick the frame around. So what we're going to do is bring back our footage. We're going to bring in our last clip, which will be the thumbnail of the video. We're going to bring it underneath that layer, so that way it's underneath it. And then we'll scale it up and make it fit in the frame how we would like it to. So we'll position it, scale it down a bit more, rotate it to fit the right angle, position it in the right place. Just like this. Then scale it up. Just like that, that works perfectly. And from here, we're going to get our positions. So we're going to hit opacity here, hide everything again. Then when they flip the frame and it's done, just like that, we'll use that point as where the opacity should uh, stop. So from here, we go to our first one and then we set it to zero. So that way it fades in. Okay, so now we need the next point. So we look at this video again and we see that's where the zoom begins to happen. We'll bring everything back and then what we're going to do is we're going to select everything except the modern family actual video pre-compose it and then we're going to get our transform position scale rotation clocks again and then we're going to find the last bit that's the last bit there bring ours back and then bring our scales here and then what we're going to do is zoom in just like before but really doing the opposite effect and we're going to rotate it just to make this image be the one that fills the frame. So we'll scale it down, that's about right. I mean, we don't want it the exact same thing to hide it because what we're doing now is we're going to grab the actual thumbnail, bring it on top, and we have to scale this up because it's 720. So we'll just scale it just like that. Close it, Control Shift D, and delete the first bit so it starts there. So, and we turn our motion blur on um, the pre comps layer. Oh, something went wrong. Okay, see, so simple fix, don't know what happened there, but you just gotta bring that up just so it fits the whole frame. So then when we play it, we zoom in to the last bit. Just like that, and that's basically the intro. So this is how I recreated the Modern Family intro inside of After Effects, used for my Gracefell graduation video.
So there you go, that's how you recreate the Modern Family intro inside of After Effects. I found this to be the fastest way, the easiest way, and the way that actually looks the best. So I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it.